Thanks. The imminent field reversal will have a radical effect on human civilization. But it will also threaten the survival of a number of species. Dr. Richard Holland has discovered that as well as using sonar, bats use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate. Holland wants to know how their navigation will be affected by a reversal of polarity. We catch bats here in this barn at the Princeton University Field Station and we subject them to a manipulation of the Earth's magnetic field or perhaps we disrupt the sensory cells that might be responsible for the detection of the Earth's magnetic field by bats. Holland places individual bats inside this coil. And zap the bat. It delivers a very short, harmless magnetic pulse, which scrambles their internal compass. And pow, there goes the pulse. So he's been magnetized. Hopefully that should have reversed the polarity of the magnetite in his sensory cells. So now we're going to get out there, release him, see where he goes. We drive them about 20 miles away to the north and release them. And we track them as they try to fly back home. He's off. OK. Holland wants to see how the magnetic pulse will affect their ability to navigate home. Bats normally fly back to the barn in around 60 minutes. But what happens to those whose senses have been manipulated? No, that's it. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone and he's headed north. So this guy, he's had his polarity reversed, his magnetic compass was screwed up, he's gone in the wrong direction. But eventually he'll correct and he'll get back to the home roost. It takes the bats several hours to make it back. Holland believes that bats sense Earth's magnetic field lines. So when the magnetic field reverses, it's as if they're navigating with an upside-down map. They inevitably go the wrong way. There's very clear behavioral evidence that animals use the magnetic field for a compass, certainly, and also possibly as a map. But fluctuations in the magnetic polarity don't just affect bats. For decades, whale beachings mystified scientists. But in the 1980s, biologists notice a correlation between the location of whale strandings and sudden magnetic anomalies on the sea floor. A weakening magnetic field could cause the leader of a whale pod to misread its internal GPS, leading others into dangerously shallow water. There is the potential for this to affect animals' ability to locate their position using the, the magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field as a mechanism of locating their position on the Earth has been vital for animals throughout the history of life on Earth. And so it's hard to imagine life without the magnetic field. An absence of the magnetic poles could be disastrous for many species, including us. Earth's magnetic field has reversed thousands of times since its formation four and a half billion years ago. And scientists now believe that the next reversal is imminent. The race is on to predict exactly when it will occur. In 2010, the European Space Agency will launch SWARM, its mission is to generate accurate up-to-the-minute maps of Earth's magnetosphere and anticipate its future activity. Professor Nils Olsen of the Danish National Space Center is working on the mission. The new and exciting idea behind SWARM is that we have three satellites. We have a higher satellite at an altitude of 530 kilometers and we have a pair of satellites at an altitude of about 430 kilometers. These identical satellites are equipped with new generation magnetometers. These will detect minute variations in field strength, as well as identifying any new areas where the poles are reversing. I think it's amazing that we 
can take magnetic measurements by satellites flying at a few hundred kilometers and say something about the deep interior of the Earth, how the molten iron moves at a depth of about 3,000 kilometers. Isn't that amazing? Scientists hope these satellites will help them predict when the magnetic poles are about to switch. They might even save lives. I think that in the next decade or two, we could develop a science to forecast where the Earth's magnetic field is headed and use that then as a planning tool. Use that as a planning tool for people who fly satellites, as a planning tool for people who fly manned space flight, and develop the technologies necessary to deal with, let's say, an impending reversal. As the reversal approaches, the decay of our magnetic field will continue, and cosmic radiation will get increasingly close to Earth's surface. Life on Earth, although it would be affected adversely in some ways by the drop in intensity of the Earth's field, it's figured out a way to live through these events. So what should we do to ensure the survival of the human race? There's very little we can do directly about the geodynamo. It's going to behave the way it wants. But now with satellites, we're able to look at it more closely and maybe make some meaningful forecasts. So at least as a species, we have the chance to adapt. Life will change. Earth will be subjected to more deadly radiation. The only visible sign of Earth's weakening defense will be in the skies. You will probably find the aurora dappled all across the globe, even in the equatorial regions, in places that we never see aurora. The magnetosphere has shaped Earth's entire evolution. Without it, life as we know it would not exist. Our planet would be barren. It protects us from the effects of solar storms. Although its polarity has reversed many times over the millennia, mankind has never been around to witness it. All life will be affected by a reversal of Earth's magnetic field. But scientists have yet to discover evidence linking past reversals with mass extinction events. If we adapt, we should survive.